calling it quality talk is what we do for a living right here. My name is Femi Olani Pekun. Thank you so much for joining us again on the Thursday edition of Frank Talk, where we look at trending issues in the policy, bringing the issues closer to you, a bit of a better understanding of the issues that we discuss right here on Frank Talk. We look at policies of government and we look at the politics uh, also. Politics um, are split up by politicians and our political leaders and the policies as mapped out by the policymakers and the technocrats. Well, on the program today, we'll be looking at one letter that's been generating so much hues and cries, dominating public discourse as we speak today. The Minister of State for Petroleum Resources, Dr. Ibe Kachuku, wrote a letter on the 30th of August, but then it got leaked uh, to the public. That uh, was two days ago on Tuesday. That letter got to the public and it's been generating uh, so much comments. Well, many people, depending on which side of the divide you are, but let me just give you uh, like uh, some of the key highlights of that particular letter before we delve into the issues really now well in that letter addressed to the president muhammad buhari uh, the minister of for petroleum resources uh, alleged that he has tried using his words now very many times to see the president you know but um, uh, he has been un unsuccessful in seeing him and uh, well he talked about the fact that um, one of the parastatals under him one of the major agencies of government the nnpc the gmd has been undermining his own office yeah he, like, he accused him of insubordination and illegal acts circumventing due process. He also uh, talked about the fact that uh, he, uh, some people have been leveling against him, anti North allegation, and then he also alleged in that letter that some appointments were made without due consultation, that as the chairman of the NNPC board, he doesn't know what happens or what goes on in that particular corporation. He also talked about um, assignments and awards of contracts without due process when you look at those contracts totaling over 25 billion dollars well that's uh, one area that some people are even focusing on saying well the issue of insubordination is one thing but when it comes to money matters like this uh, knowing the history of the nnpc we need to place um, close attention to whatever is happening there and I also talked about the fact that all of the efforts all of the you know plans and you know, methods to put in place at the early state of this administration towards ensuring transparency at NNPC have been largely eroded by the GMD, Dr. Mike Kantibar. Now, that on one side, you look at other internal wranglings within the President Muhammad Buhari administration. You have the uh, Attorney General of the Federation of Akamalami alongside that one against Ibrahim Magu of the EFCC. You have uh, at one time Hamid Ali, the customs boss, up against Kemi Adiyoshi, the finance minister. You have uh, that of the NSC up against the DSS boss and many others like that within this administration. We'll be starting really looking at what really, well, uh, of what consequence is this particular letter written by Dr. Ibe Kachiku that has now been leaked to the press? Well, the issue of who leaked it is another matter entirely. We're looking at the substance of those letters and also are looking at some of the wranglings we've had within this particular administration for some time. I'll be joined shortly by uh, a very experienced journalist who's practiced for several decades to understand the power politics that goes on in the corridors of power. Mr. Waliu will be joining us live on the line now. Thank you so much for joining us right here on Frank Talk this morning, Mr. Waliu. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning, sir. Well, tell me, if that letter is dominating public discourse as we speak. Of what consequence to you, which experience, you know, I'm covering, uh, you know, issues like these, understanding the politics behind power, power politics that goes on in governance, of what consequence is that particular letter? Well, thank you. It's quite unfortunate that we have uh, this type of development in the country. Uh, I want to first of all start by explaining what it takes in public administration, particularly in governance. If you have a ministry and you have prosecutors under the ministry, the ministry stands at the supervising body for the uh, MDA under it. So definitely it means that all the activities of ministry of departments and agencies under it must be supervised and managed by the ministry. No doubt about that. It's, that's how it's established. Mm -hmm. But in this situation, it is unfortunate that everybody is now having power flexing. Everybody is trying to flex power at different levels. And if you trace it well, the implication is just this. The implication shows that one, the normal thing is for anybody who is in public position to hold his loyalty to the state. 
be it the minister, be it the head of us, be it anybody, your allegiance and liberality is supposed to be to the state, no doubt about that. But at a point in time, there was the missing gap of the symbolic, the, the, the symbolic, uh, uh, the symbol of the state. The symbol of the state is the president. At the point in time, the that symbol was absent from the whole structure. If you trace most, most of these things, it happened when the president went on a long medical vacation. By that time, you know, I see many of them wanting to flex their muscles, wanting to show how important they are, wanting to show how independent they could be, because the loyalty to the state, which the president is representing, was absent. So that was the beginning of the whole thing. So he, he, when the president went away, the next thing is for the ministers. Uh, unfortunately, if we trace it well, mm. the acting president then, too, must have gotten a lot of experience from even the ministers or whatever. Because at that time, he would have just been, he would have just been somebody who could accommodate many of these uh, nuances. That's what he, he never complained. Many of them would have done the same thing to him, to the ministers. Mm. We had a time with some of the ministers who are rushing to London, wanting to take state memos, state uh, information to the president to have his, uh, his, his, his approval. When he sent them back, that look, we have an acting president. And he has all the power. So the same thing is transmit is transferring to some of this uh, uh, organization that when he was absent. So it was everybody wanting to show that look, I'm independent. The president is not available. The, the symbol structure of the state is not available. So because of that, I'm an island to myself. I have power on my own. I can do this. But if the president has been around, the symbol of the state has been around, it would have there would have been a check with this. It's an error. That will have been a checkmate from the Iraqi to everybody as popular. Okay. That's what made Kachuku now believe that, fine, the state symbol is now back. Let me clear the spot so that the bank can put all the checks. But, you know, you recall that in that letter, Kachuku said that he tried very many times to see the president. You know, I mean, it's, it's, it's a matter of saying here, I have made several efforts to see you. Uh, you know, uh, how how um, how distressing can it be for a minister so appointed by the president to be unable to see the president who appointed him into office? It's, it's, it's quite unfortunate because if that one is if actually the situation is that well I'm waiting for whether a formal response from the presidency or whatever on that area before we can have confirm things I don't like taking issues just from one side. Katu said he has made repeated efforts to see the president, he could not see the president on this. Let's have words from the president or the president already. But if going by what Kachuku said, if we go by that, it is quite unfortunate and it's administratively unacceptable for the minister who is in the national grade, who is in the federal grade council, not to have access to the chairman of its council. It, it's that uh, one wouldn't take that. And if that is the situation, it means uh, the, 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 the MD of NMPC must have had this information that definitely the minister is not having the direct contact with the president. And he is on his own. He tends to be more powerful because there's nobody who wants to control him or who wants to watch a check, check making. So then, now comes to the politics of it. The politics of this that the, the MV of the NMPC is likely to have a personal relationship and personal link with the president, which is putting far above the minister. All right. So, well, you know, means, uh, yes, uh, I mean, that brings me to these questions because some people feel that, you know, Kachuku's letter, well, you know, uh, it's uh, absolutely needless, saying Kachuku is the minister of state. The president, yeah. Muhammad Buhari, is the minister of petroleum resources yeah, himself. Yeah, so, you know, yeah. could it be that all of these that, you know, Dr. Mike Antibaru did, was with the approval, express approval of the Minister of Petroleum Resources. Do we need to have the Minister of State in the picture at all? No, no, I want to come again. I can't get the schedule on this. Some people are saying that, well, the letter Kachiko has written is needless. That the if the GMP has the approval of the Minister of Petroleum Resources, which in this context is the President, then there is no point. I mean, crying over spilled milk. You, you, you have to get one thing clear. But you have to get clear that on paper, the president is the minister of petroleum. 
to that matter. Mm. But administratively, it was gone. The president has delegated that power to the hands of the junior minister, which is the minister of state, who is the one handling that issue directly. Even with the, the ministries where you have, you know, where you have the minister of state and you have the senior minister, what they normally do is that they divide the profit of assignment. This for you, this for me. So it's done like that. Even the ministries where the president is not the full minister. With the ministries where you have two, I mean, two ministers, you go to aviation, and make is there as the senior minister. Uh, the other guy, what's his name, is there as the junior mm -hmm. minister. They've divided the issue. You will see that when it comes to aviation, when it comes to direct airport activities, you see that it's the junior minister that does that. So the same thing now in petroleum. So the profit, if the president has given up the, the profit, delegated that area of the NMPC, is delegated to the junior minister, which is the minister of power, which, which is the junior minister of uh, petroleum, which is Kachuku. So definitely, administratively, yeah, the NMPC falls under the profit of Kachuku. So Kachuku, we have the right, we have the administrative right to query, to administer, to oversee the activities of the NMPC. So if you are now bringing in the minister, the senior minister into it now, if the senior minister has divided the, uh, the schedule and the ministry between himself and the junior minister, and the war, the schedule of the NMPC falls under the junior minister, then definitely Kachuku is the one that mm. the, 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 the GM is supposed to, to, to report to. All right. So if it's not reporting to him now, mm. something more is involved. Okay. Well, do you suspect an, uh, you know, ethnic card being played out here? Yeah, is that, from that, the that was, I, I was driving to that. Mm. that some, I said something else is involved. And what do I mean by that? If you have a personal contact with the symbol of the state, are you getting me? Mm. If you have a personal contact with the symbol of the state, we tend, you tend to assume that that contact, that, 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 that uh, affiliation that you have, that connection, that fraternity you have, that's what will be driving you in the way you do, do you, you run you run the administration so no doubt about that there must be some other link that is far beyond be it ethnic be it religion be it whatever there must be all the contacts that one is enjoying it happens i mean with that we 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 we, we, we are political practitioners when you have two executives that, that has one two other appointees that has personal fraternity personal relationship with him with time it gets to the head of the person and he doesn't follow administrative schedule again he doesn't follow hierarchy again so mm. it's not impossible that this is playing itself out in this situation mm. all right what, what, but i'm just waiting for the response of the presidency before we can give it i mean we, we can give the balance uh, uh, a balance uh, opinion mm. but for now we'll be assuming we, 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 i mean it's still an assumption on church we have the, we, the, the president, we have to talk about it too. Okay, well, now, let's look at this. You know, um, it, it seems that this is continuing in a pattern that we have seen time and again in this administration, uh, you know, of, um, you know, um, superiors and subordinates having issues. We have the AGF against um, the EFCC chairman. We have the Minister of Health, Professor Adewale, with an, you know, uh, one agency head. Uh, we had, uh, you know, several other ones, the NSC and the DSS, several of these internal wranglings within this administration. Does, do, does that not paint the president as someone in that, you know, as someone not in charge of, his, of this administration? How does that paint him in the eyes of the Nigerian? Well, uh, 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 it, it would be unfortunate for the president not to address this issue as quickly as possible. Because if you look at the, what we have explained now, it's still the same pattern. It's still the same pattern of the symbol of the state not being available, and somebody who believes he has a closer fraternity, who believes he has a direct contact, who believes he has personal contact, which is above administrative structure, using that personal contact and personal fraternity to the best of his own advantage. Is that what's happening? Go and check Doran. If you look at what's happening, look, look at the BSF, that was the, the BSF and the EFCC at a point in time. You see, that was this, when, when, when uh, uh, the EFCC man was to be cleared in the, in the, in the, the Senate, the BSF wrote a report. You now want to ask that what, what the hell is it? The EFCC and the BSF, they all, they are, they, they are reporting to the, to, to the president. So why, 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 why that, uh, uh, the, 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 the unity? So it shows that somebody somewhere, 
out of them is having a personal influence and personal fraternity with the president. And his genius is the best of play. So now we now put it to, 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 to the box, to the table of the president. That look, he must just stand up and act. The president must stand up and act. If he does not act, well, it is this kind of colorations will be given to the whole thing. We'll be given ethnic coloration. We'll be given uh, subordination. We'll be, given, we'll be calling different types of names. But if the man has stands up, wants to act as a symbol of the state, because the president is a symbol of the state, and everybody must be loyal to the state. If you are loyal to the state, then you must be loyal to the administrative structure of the state. So the man must come up and wake up. All right. and put everybody into place. Okay, one of the major red flags in that letter was the issue of yeah. the awards of contracts. Now, uh, mm. anti-corruption is the main strength of this government, this APC government, and Buhari selling point. But uh, $25 billion is what you're saying here of contracts awarded without due process. So we now say the president is embracing corruption. It's, it's, it's quite unfortunate the way this administration is fighting corruption. I want you to know that the, you fight corruption not on the media. You don't fight corruption through the press. You try to institute, uh, you start to institute internal control that will wipe away, I mean, uh, uh, corruption. Let me tell you one thing that you need to understand today. Corruption, the way it's now done in Nigeria, what public officers are now doing is this. They sit down to look at the excesses, the mistakes, and the way those who have been corrupt before then were doing it. So they now go back and redraw a structure in such a manner that it will make you look holier to the whole, uh, to the whole world, but uh, the, to hold to the whole world while you are, you, are, you are into corruption. So it's still endemic. Corruption is still endemic. No doubt about that. So I cannot rule that out. It's every facet of the country today that you still have corruption. The only thing is that Buhari does not want corruption, so let's do it in such a manner that will not be wanton. I believe those who did it in the past, they were just wanting. That is why the, I mean, the whole world is now talking about it. And let's go to the media and let's talk about those ones. Why those ones that are in there now are sitting down to perfect way in which it will now have a media, their corruption will not have a media view. Their corruption will not have the other eyes to see it. That is what they are doing now. I'm telling you by the time this administration leaves office, Nigeria will be, will be shocked. With what the revolution that is the kind of thing you're seeing now mm. well so you know so they, it, want it's go, a... they want to go digital with the way the, the corruption wants to go digital now so when it's digital it will be able to be to be kept away from the eyes of the public and eyes of the press mm. that's what is happening now it's so, not the corruption is gone so i mean would you it's say it's that senator she Sonny is right you know with um his analysis of saying uh you know when it comes to fighting corruption within the presidency or within the parties uh, the president uses deodorant, and then when it comes fantastic, to people outside, fantastic. it's about insecticide. The guy, the Nigeria, uh, Nigeria was described as being fantastically corrupt. She was sunny, I'm describing to be fantastically corrupt in his in, in, in Spanish, in his analysis. No doubt about that. No doubt about that. Absolutely. It's unfortunate. Is it the president, as a person, hates corruption? He does not want corruption. But unfortunately, corruption is endemic in the country. So those that he's working with, see have the attitude of corruption. They have the instincts of corruption. So what they now do is that let us do this corruption in such a manner that the president will be comfortable with us. It's not that they are not corrupt. But let's do it in such a manner that the man who does not want corruption in Randy, we not we know we we not we not we not know it. Well we not see it. Or we can shoot it from his eyes. That's why I said, what we need to do first. I am, I'm, 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 I'm a student of internal auditing. And what we we'll call something the internal control. The system in the country, not to establish system of internal control, that's the corruption free. We still run systems that is, that, that is still severely disposed to corruption. So we need to change, we need to establish system of internal control that will make it difficult, make it tough, Make it impossible. Not even it, it not impossible because everywhere in the whole world there's corruption, one element of corruption. But we reduce it to the DRS minimum. So we don't just fight corruption by talking to you in relief of them, but come and carry this, uh, we, 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 we expose this, and uh, we have we've restricted this, we've taken this money, we were able to recover this. That's not it. It will sit down, have a bunch of technocrats 
who will look at the administrative structure of the country now come with system of internal control and with which will now be inputted into the system that's what we need to do all right well thank you so if that one is done you just see that it's now becoming more difficult for you to to to, to be correct okay so well, thank, you. thank you thank you thank you just to empower AESCC, go and arrest these when you arrest them you recover this money say to you what no sit down the system still allows for corruption. Establish a system of internal control in the administrative structure of the country that will make it almost difficult or impossible to be corrupt. Thank you very much for speaking with us this morning on Frank Talk. Mr. Wally Owo is a veteran journalist, uh, you know, journalist with several years of experience. Thank you so much for joining us on Frank Talk this you. morning. Thank you. Thank, thank you, my brother. God bless you. Thank you. Uh, all right well we're still looking at this issue we move on to the other side get another perspective on this particular matter also this letter written by the minister of state for petroleum resources to the president muhammad buhari uh, on the ongoings of uh, the nnpc gmd dr mike kanti baru uh was saying you know acts of insubordination there uh saying acts of illegal you know awards of contract uh, and also circumventing due process we have former presidential spokesman dr don yoko joining us live on the line here thank you so much for joining us on, the, on frank talk this morning hello good morning sir morning thank you very much for joining us on frank talk on rave 91.7 fm sir all right well it, tell me what you make of uh, the letter you know you've been in i mean the cabinet hello? before hello can you hear me hello hello Okay, well, we, we have to reconnect uh, again. We seem to be having some challenges there. Connecting to Dr. Adonyi Okuk, we're former hospital advisor uh, to former President Olusha Gombasanjo and also uh, President Goodluck Jonathan on a media, former presidential spokesman there. To look at these letters and then look at what really obtains, what should be the ideal situation uh, in, you know, uh, when, when you look at relations between the president and then his ministers and also the ministers and some of the subordinates, the head of the prostatus and agents agencies um you know right there well uh, the letter was written on the 30th of august that's like 11 days after the president returned to the country and was leaked just um, uh, about a month after uh, to the public and people have been weighing their own contributions of course you have your own opportunity of also joining us and telling us what do you make of that letter and what you see of uh, these um, unfortunate pattern that we've seen uh, so far since the beginning of this administration internal wrangling some um, subordinates and superiors having a go at each other and and, you know, uh, somewhat working at cross purposes uh, that uh, should really not be, uh, we speak that it should actually be towards a working collective, uh, collectively to achieve the common goal of this administration. We have Dr. Don Yoko joining us again. Thank you so much for coming on the program. Tell me what you make of that uh, eBay Kachiku letter to the president. Oh, well, you know, uh, for some of us who have been in government, not an individual not thing. You know, I have always said it, and I'm going to say it again. We have a country, we do not have a nation. Mm. And uh, amalgamation is different from uh, unification, and which is different from unity. In this country, the problem we have is the Nigerian elite themselves. If Daniel Cooper or Les Robert Sondo is in government, then every Yoruba man in government in top positions you know, becomes, you know, big-headed and, you know, is, uh, you know, uh, almost uncontrollable. So the same thing, if an evil man is president, the evil who are even subordinate to senior officers, you know, will, will, will commit acts like this. And, you know, this is just how we are. Hmm. You know, it is not, it is not unusual for me. I mean, I know because I've been in government and I see even at closer, closer level. This is just how Nigerians are. I mean, when, you know, and the, the other thing is this, when somebody is guilty of something of misdemeanor that is so obvious and plain, you know, only, only people from other sides of, I mean, other sides of the country will condemn him. His own people will not say anything. When the, uh, the custom, controller general of custom said the minister of finance that he's not under the minister of, of finance, nobody in the north said, you know, what he said was wrong. Mm. You know, nobody condemned it. Only, only standard and only Yoruba people. The same thing, even Yoruba person does something. I mean, you know, only, only, I mean, people from the north or from east, 
we condemn the other people will keep quiet that is how we are you know Gangi, i'm not i'm not part of and i'm not because i hate talking about isolated institutions you know we have fundamental problems in the country and it's reared its head you know up in various various you know diversities and dimensions so you know for me it's not unusual i've seen it before as you know it, it will continue as long as you know we fail to have you know a united elite and it, you know a, you know a, an elite that is interested in a united country all right but, you know right now what we have is you know a country you don't have a nation when your man is in power you become big-headed you know and everybody runs around you well, you know, um, you served under the Jonathan administration. It was alleged that the South South people, you know, also held sway at that time. You know, I'm I, I robbed the nation of its billions. Uh, you, you're saying this is not peculiar to the Buhari administration. Is that what you're saying? Oh my! Well, the line uh, went dead there. We try and definitely reconnect to Dr. Donyo Kukwe to get him back. Uh, you know, really to join us uh on, on on the program and look at uh, this very uh you know critically looking at it he, he seems to be saying that well this is not peculiar uh to the night uh, to the brand so thank you so much for coming back again well i was saying that you served uh, under the jonathan administration and many people at that time believed that the people from the south south held sway of the nations of its billions you seem to be saying that this particular situation is not peculiar to the buhari administration alone you know, I mean, I'll I, be honest and frank with you. It is not. It happened during Jonathan administration. It happened during the Jonathan administration. Maybe in other social case to a lesser extent. You know, because, you know, Baba is a strong man and, you know, he will be the big state. But that still does not mean that, you know, a director in the Ministry of uh, Internal Affairs, which is Yoruba man, will seem superior and his subordinate to his super, his fan press. The Yoruba man and the president of the Yoruba man. So what's the problem? So that is how we are. So you know, we, Nigerians are hypocrites. I don't care about Katiko and uh, Badjo or whatever. You know, this is what we do all the time. All the time. Now we are doing the same position like NFPC. But it is happening in the internal affairs. It's happening in foreign affairs. It's happening in customs. It happens everywhere and in every government. Mm. You know, that is just what we do. And, you know, unless we actually attend to fundamental issues, you know, I, at my level and at my age, I'm not interested in petty talk. You know, what I, if it is not Katsuko today, it should be uh, Ethan or it should be uh, Adesoya or Umaru. That is how we are. Mm. Yeah. Well, you know, I've seen arguments and people saying this letter of Kachuku is actually needless. You know, are saying, uh, doesn't he attend the fake meetings with the president? He's saying, I mean, he, he could have seen the president at, at such meetings. I mean, you know, the first meeting is that he went to the Oh my, well, the line went dead again. It seems that Kukwe is actually on the road, but then we we'll definitely reconnect again, especially to clear the air on that. Some people saying, well, if the minister attacks the fend, attends the FEC meeting, then it should also at some point have seen the president. is about just telling us how the FEC meeting is structured and if possible or not uh, for the uh, minister to actually see the president at such uh, meetings and then look at some of the other issues before we let him go today. I know that you have something to say about this and also bring you in to weigh in your own comment on this very disturbing situation we just you know it i mean you know hit a raw nerve really here saying that this is not peculiar to the buhari administration saying this runs deep in the nigerian you know situation saying irrespective of the administration the buhari administration jonathan administration the administration this would have happened at different times like this he just said maybe it happened less during the boston administration well you are about explaining to us the minister has seated before the president comes in mm. and once the president comes in everybody everybody you know the meeting goes on when the meeting is over the first person to leave the chamber is the president and is the military called on door all right mm. so you know you know you just don't have access to the president just because you have the meeting with him it doesn't happen like that you know the person who uh, who arranges the meeting between the president the president and ministers especially or any other person is the chief of staff mm. you understand so if the chief of staff does not want you to see the president you cannot see him mm. and you know that's the system. 
if it is one thing we can call for you, but then uh, if you know, you know, <laughs> Uh, uh, okay, well, you know, anti-corruption is the main strength of these APC government, and, you know, that's Buhari's main selling point. With this issue of the 25 billion, you know, dollars contract awarded without due process, do we now say the president is embracing corruption? Well, the line went off there. Well, I'm afraid uh, it's um, it's the poor network. Dr. Okuwa is actually on the road, uh, on the trip. And um, that, uh, you know, maybe explains uh, why the network, uh, the link to him is uh, that uh, bad. But maybe we'll open the phone lines for you to join us and then, you know, weigh in on the matter, you know, while we still try and get across to him. Uh, again, yeah. well, Doctor Okupe, I was about to ask you, but you know, before I let you go, that anti-corruption is the main strength, uh, is the you know main platform that this government campaigned on. In fact, that is the president's main selling point. When you look at the issue of twenty-five billion dollars contracts awarded without due process, do we now say the president is embracing corruption? Hello. All right, well, let's open the phone line for you. The line is not particularly good there. Uh, well, we've been able to get a hang of um, another perspective, especially from someone who's served inside of government to tell us what really uh, the situation should be. And telling, you know, telling us some truth, uh, saying this is not particularly limited, saying, uh, well, uh, most Nigerians are want to do like that. Most Nigerians are uh, really, because of the way uh, we are structured, because of some of the things we do, uh, we want to die safe. Yoruba man is the president. Well, Yoruba subordinates of ministers are from elsewhere. We want to say, well, it's our president, and want to do some of those things, saying, well, the only administration that actually had it less was, uh, you know, perhaps the Abbas Sanjo administration. Let's open the phone lines for you right here now. Uh, let's have your own contribution. We'd like you to keep it short, make it very simple, and most importantly, let's make it civil. We spoke to a journalist with several decades of, 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 of experience covering corridors of power, Wale Ogu, earlier on, and then we just spoke also with Dr. Doyo Kukwe, former presidential uh, spokesman, joining us uh, on the line. Let's open the phone lines for you. Well, we'll also try and get someone from the Asurok Villa, Joans Wojola, we'll try to connect to him to tell us also, let's see, uh, what it makes uh, of that. Is a member of the presidential media team and um, let's uh, get his own contribution what it makes of uh, this uh, particular situation uh, right there on uh, you know the program uh, today from talk we've been looking at the ebay kachuku letter to the president uh written on the 30th of august and then uh we looked to the uh, public on tuesday and it's been generating so much reactions you can now join the conversation by calling 0703-175-9177, 0703-175-9177, and 0902-427-3808. You can equally make use of our social media platforms for WhatsApp 0703-175-9173, 0703-175-9177. Tweet at us at Rave917FM and Facebook is Rave917FM. Do remember to turn down the volume on your radio set or move away from it. And please, let's keep our comments civil. Thank you. that drop let's see some of the messages now before we begin to take your calls um, what well, this one emmanuel is saying kachuku shouldn't be surprised uh he has not been granted access to pmb he has forgotten he's an ego uh to pmb also than as uh slaves well uh, that seems not to be the situation explained by our guest on the program right it's let's take this call hello good morning Thank you, Mr. Lawala. You see, Dr. Doyo Kukwe has said nothing but the truth today. That is how our system is. And it's very, very unfortunate. 
And you see, tell me with a chief of staff like Abaki Ari, tell me how somebody who has a positive contribution, a very good contribution to be a president. Tell me how the person will be able to be the president with the character of the chief of staff. That is our president. That is our country is not moving forward at all. A whole lot of sentiment, nepotism, tribal, what have what you. I'm going to say what from the, from the thank you very much all right thank you very much uh, let's see uh, some okay if you're having challenges with our other lines make use of zero nine zero five six four eight seven one seven seven zero nine zero five six four eight seven one seven seven and um, also zero seven zero three one seven five nine one seven seven as well as zero nine zero two four two seven three eight zero eight hello good morning Hello, good morning. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Emmanuel from Indonesia. Good morning. Thank you, Emmanuel. Yes, yes. And uh, I have a feeling a long time ago that the corruption war of this government has been one side. And also for a government that has been telling and we are going on with because they are fighting corruption. Not so many things are done. And keeping silence on very important allegations. This time around, from MSPC, one of the very important terms of the government. I don't know, we should start from up. I mean, if, if you want the water to flow down to your leg, you need to start from your head. The issue of NIA, the issue of Secretary to the State Government, are here on top. And you want things to be done from her down to my brother, they must start it from up, and we follow them. Good morning. Thank you very much, Madhu. Mr. Law on WhatsApp is saying, Good morning. It's unfortunate this atrocity is taking place in this present government. The government that established that was established in the pillar of anti corruption war to the extent that one individual or bodies can go to some length to award contract without due process and all others. Well, my take is PMB should look in the letter and take a serious and needed action on it and bring the offenders to book in order to maintain the dignity of the government. Hello, good morning. Good morning. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Your name again, please. Honor. Honor from Ilobu. Yes. Let's have a contribution. Yeah, my submission is that we should pray for Nigeria. Only God can solve our problem. We are help of people coming that we do this, we do that, and we do that. It's only God that can solve our problem. That is the truth for the matter. Thank you very much. Thank you. God bless you. Amen. Uh, well, this... Hello. Good morning. That dropped. Uh, this message is from Bode from If I make no mistake, the GMD is only playing to Buhari's zealotry. Uh, well, let's not use such words. It's only uh, a fool won't know Buhari initiated and endorsed all the actions of the GMD. Hello. Good morning. Hello. Good morning. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Collins from Oshobo. Collins, thank you for joining us. I, I've always said this and I, will, and I will keep saying it. Many things have gone under the carpet. There are sweat and many things in under the carpet. And many things have passed through the back door that is not revealed to Nigeria. I might see this uh, uh, Barua and uh, Baru uh, and uh, Kashiko, what is going on now? Uh, uh, the matter of SGF is still there. Many things like that going on under this government. All right. God will save Nigeria. Amen. And um, uh, what BF, uh, tweeting at BF underscore Funshaw, is saying an anti corruption president cannot afford to keep mom now or else everything uh, crumbled. 26 billion dollars is much. That's my barbarian from Thank you. Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning. What's your name? What are you call? This is uh, Francis Ajibadi from Wababu. Thank you, Mr. Ajibadi. We, we thank God for this country, first and foremost. And I want to say, and I will keep on saying it, that this country is a nation and is a country. Whatever the case may be, we continue to be one nation and we continue to be Nigeria. We want to thank Dr. Kube, he's a very sweet man this morning. I, God bless him. He has said the truth and nothing but the truth. That is just our problem. I'm a Yoruba man. You are having Yoruba at the end of a fear. Come to the our level here. You see, what we'll be doing is that we'll be slot. 
slot, slot upon slot. When you have Igbo, it is slot upon slot. You see Igbo people there. When you have Aousa, it is slot upon slot. You see Aousa people there, it is our mouth. Is this a Yoruba uh, nation? Is this a Aousa nation? This is Nigeria. Thank you, God bless you. Thank Nigeria. you so much. Hello, good morning. Hello. Hello. What's your name calling from? Comrade, I did call you from there. Thank you, comrade. I want to really appreciate you once again. Yeah. Instead of speaking, the fear of corruption is the beginning of Nigeria development. Mm. Because uh, for how long, I will go, you know, we say, when I am born, 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 I See, the issue that is on ground now is that the, the president will have to make the right step now. The appointment, all those ones, they are going to be, so they, 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 he need to, he need to, 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 to cancel it. Because the corruption of a thing, we all need to fight it before it fight us back. Because he, he to talk, we are talking of his achievement, his success over this corruption, but Liva is still the case. Because these are Kachuku of the thing, and no Kachuku cannot handle it all. And about President Bwari, he has assigned himself as the president, and at the same time, the minister of, 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 of the petroleum. Right. So he needs to handle that. We don't want corruption. Thank you. And um, on Twitter, Victory Mide is saying, this is one of the outbursts of uh, at M. Buhari being the minister of um, uh, petroleum. That itself is against world best practice. Didi Adebawale said, it's unfortunate the situation we are in today. I just hope that this present government will do the needful, very disheartening. Amori Tala, tweeting at Abdul Ghani, you, uh, M U R one saying, this government don't do what it preaches. I belong to everybody and belong to no one. Where is the anti-corruption crusade? Hello, good morning. Hello. What's your name where you calling from? Thank you very much for joining us, sir. You know, we have always said that there is no government in the Nigeria that can fight for us. This is because we are not ready to ask the question why is this country corrupt? When this government comes on board, what people are saying is that why is going to fight corruption? They're not just ask ourselves. Even if Buhari himself is not corrupt, what about those people who are working with him? So, what I think we should be is to ask ourselves, all the government should ask, why is Nigeria corrupt? It is then that we will end with what corruption. Thank you, people. Thank you. Um, let's take, hello, good morning. Hello, good morning. What's your name are you calling from? If Solo Madiguega calling from Awa to Shubo. Thank you, Chief Madiguega. Yeah. You can now see, I've been calling and I've been talking all this one. You understand? There's others in Yoruba that says, Oloma Deki, Ojewamayi. You understand? Even Kashuku Tuko have come out and spoke that way. You understand? You see that there's a problem in this country. And I've been saying that the problem we have in this country is that let Yoruba team up people and Southern Africa. Let us team up Southern Nigeria. So that's the only reason, that's the only way we can fight these people. All right. Um, let's take some messages on WhatsApp now. But they from me, if I say, make no mistake, the GMD is only playing to well, Buhari Zilotri script. Only a fool won't know Buhari initiated and endorsed all the actions of the GMD. And that's why he hasn't given Kachiko the courtesy of either audience or even a mere reply. But they from me, if I, and um, Adeyemi John from Oshibu is saying, this Minister of State knew what knew that Mr. President doesn't tolerate corruption and he accepts himself from the corrupt issue. That's why he revealed the hidden agenda to the public through social media. The problem is between the DG and the Minister. And Fakunle from what I've is saying, the happenings in government should not come to us as a surprise. The GM does a godfather in the President. After all, the President did not take any action on the grass cutter secretary. And um, our problem is fundamental. Dr. Donyi just said a true picture of what Nigerians are. We are our problems. That's uh, from Delhi. And he added that there is no government that won't be corrupt because it is run by Nigerians. We would, we should not just be hypocrites. We are naturally greedy as a people. Delhi from Ilawe. Thank you very much. Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning. What's your name you calling from? Uh, good morning, my name is Bodhi. I'm calling from Pife. Thank you, Mr. Bodhi. 
see, uh, Mr. Femi, I don't have, I don't have, uh, I don't have much things to say. Uh, I think uh, there's a disconnect between PMB and uh, Mr. Ibe Kachuku. Uh, to me, I think PMB is, a, is an ethnic bygone. No, 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 no. We, 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 we don't allow such use of such words. Sir. We like you to be civil in your um, utterances. Let's look at the issues and then proper solutions where they need uh, be. Good morning, Rave. If this is a fee, is a debate from OK Valley or Shibu. This is happening. Uh, it's very pathetic considering the hype and the old noise about the fight against corruption by this administration because the only issue is now clear to the world that there is more or less a jamboree. System change across all sectors of government is the way to go and the noisy and clueless fight against without impact on the masses. Hello, good morning. Well, good morning, Mr. Fogu. What's your name? Where are you coming from? Everybody again. Anyone that is still saying say Baba is under spell. This man is an ethnic by God. But they, well, we, we won't tolerate that. We like you to, if you call in, be mindful of your language, please. And Ayodeji tweeting that I am smart draws to say it is disheartening to be having this kind of issue coming up under a Buhari led administration who tends to be fighting the so called corruption. And also, Ade Tunji Adi Olufa is saying government lost the war against corruption right from the time it failed to, f to start the corruption war within, but rather chose to go a political. Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning. What's your name? Where are you calling from? My name is Tony. I'm calling from Ebulu, area of Shibu. Thank you, Mr. Tony. Yeah, this actual thing that happened now shows really that corruption has eaten deep into the fabric of our nation. And that this regime is mainly fighting corruption at the pages of newspapers. Trace backwards. Remember the case of Baba Chilawa. What happened? There's another one hanging on the neck of IGP. What's happening? Plus all of that corrupt uh, reports going on. Once you are a Gambari, you are safe in Nigeria to do whatever thing you want to do. Please, it is time for us in the southern Nigeria to team up and salvage this nation because it belongs to all of us. All right. Good morning. Thank you. Um, hello, good morning. Hello? Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning. What? This is Manuel from Ife. Your name again? Emmanuel from Ife. Thank you, Emmanuel. Yes, uh, I want to comment on this uh, corruption. These people, they think, they watch them deceive, they used to deceive Nigeria, want to fight corruption. But a lot of things are happening in this, in this uh, executive, in all these ministers. He can't about and me, she can't many of them that they have put, uh, the state of uh, rivers have said those people have uh abusing the money. Ekit state the former governor of Ekit State and president never done anything about it. I even presently now these people are still consuming money more than PPP. Spoiling money. They thought that Nigeria can if it took these people two years on, in uh, in regime. He never produced thought there's nothing good can come out from this. These people are Oh, thank you. But messages on WhatsApp now. JJ from Hallelujah area of Shogo. So then you could said it all. Nepotism and tribalism is a big clog to our development. Let Buhari take a strict stand against all corrupt elements in his government, even if it's his cousin. Good morning. When will you bring FFK, that's from Fanikayo, to declare the air on his claims that PMB has been cloned and is a Sudanese that is ruling us, a building from Oshogo. And this one says, Good morning, I am Adeshala from Oshogo. It was President Buhari that approved this contract in the first place without imputes from the Minister of State. This is an impeachable offense. This government is more corrupt than Jonathan's administration. And uh, this one from Ola Leri Fagwala from Oshogo is saying it is never in the character of us structure either as a country or a nation or as amalgamated or running on unification but it is always the body language of the man at the helm of affairs presidency that may subordinate due process to ethnic jingoism thank you very much uh, hello good morning hello thank you mr lawal I think it is so it is so good for our people to reveal this old thing in Northern Kansas. We are doing a kind of Southern Awards. Look at the level of corruption that we have. We have the Southern Awards. 
that so long drag. People are just saying the north. We should we should stop looking at the issue in perspective of the north against the south. Our country is in the need of a, 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 a reform. We are in all shape. We have to do and think. We are people that have the capacity to think. Every of our problems is not against the South, not against the South, not against the North. I think the most of them are winning. We have to change the situation. Some people are just coming and saying the North against the South. It is wrong. When they want to see our money, the North should come up with the people of the South. And they will see us that. That is why we are here. We have to do. If you stop all this North against the South, or the South against the North, let's think as people that have the capacity to like the people. Thank you, Thank you very much, much. Mr. Lawal. Um, this last couple of messages on WhatsApp, thank God for vindication only this week that was on a bio station telling the old world that the only difference between this government and previous ones is that this one is chop and clean mouth government. And DG from Moshe was saying, Nigerian government is nowhere ready to fight any corruption. Buhari cannot fight corruption when he paraded corrupted people corrupt people in his cabinets. We are far from ready. Well, thank you very much. A phone line is still buzzing, but then that's the much you can take on the program right here today. We've looked at that a very, well, interesting letter written by the Minister of State for Petroleum Resources, Dr. Ibe Kachuku, to the President uh, on the uh, you know, issue of insubordination and illegal uh, award of contract by the GMD of an NNPC. Well, NNPC is a parastatal, supposed to be under uh, the control of the Minister of State. It has generated so many issues in subordination, um, tribalism, um, you know, corruption, and what have you. And I'm sure that particular issue and that letter will stay in public domain for some time to come. Thank you very much. We spoke with Mr. Wally Ogu, also a journalist with several years, several decades under his belt covering uh, assignments in the corridors of power. And also we spoke to former presidential spokesman who has had experience at that top level, uh, you know, at the FEC also operating within the presidency. Dr. Don Yokukwe was one time presidential spokesman to Chief Olusha Gwabasanjo and also to Dr. Goodluck Jonathan. We'll be back here tomorrow for another edition of the program Frank Talk on Rave 91.7 FM. My name is Femi Olani. Welcome. Do have for yourself a great Thursday. Bye bye. Hi, my name is Larry Angela. I know one thing about Rave FM. I know when it hits you, you feel no pain. Anytime they look for original electrical material, now Aqua Electric Ventures Limited 5 Base or Show will make you go because they'll be major distributor and therefore for pure camp cables and wires limited plus other cables. Aqua they sell and supply all electrical and telecommunication material, conduct and surface, rural electrification material like aluminum conductor, amount cable, reclaim cable, feeder pillar, transformer, lighting arrestor, gang isolator, diffuse, port and disc insulator, electric pole, including wooden and aluminum ladder buckle for Aqua. It never finished so industrial material like distribution board, gear switch, changeover switch, circuit breaker, contactor, and so on there in Yafun Yafun. To decorate house, event hall and hotel, Ako get attractive chandelier, wall bracket, garden light, club light, and they're not cost. Or you for March, go Ako Electric Ventures Limited for Ako Electric Plaza, number 14 and 15, Park Street Street, Oshugo, Oshun State, telephone 003-372-8432 or 0818 478-6082.
Momo, <laughs> Abala ko ko lori eto owuro lawa o na la pe ni atoto arere se ma gbo iroyin ibi ta se ma fun ni awon aja abala iroyin lo ni yajo yajo ele tunjo ni lowo tunjo ni lenu leyin abala yi a ma gbo awon ko lowo oja ta ti san wo fun baba gbo tan a o gbo aroko oro leyin aroko oro la ma pade e se fun omo lojo ibi ana abi ola atunda ni bi o se ma ja wa san bo ba se lo lagbole ere idaraya bo ade ago mokan la iyaleta lo ma pade mr speaker Abenu gan ile igbimo ajoru adeyemi olabode olubukola omo bori owo lo nki wa kojimo la ro tuni loni ti se ojoru oroyewo ni dojuru oruko temi na ni adeyemi olabode so won ni bi oko bajina ilaiko kasare ma bu yin gba la won ko 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 to siyo nini iwe iroyin ojojumo ile wa toni adeyemi je ntodo mi ko aki iwe be ka ku be o ewo ni se ni are mohamedu buari dori owo ilese nnpc ko ko ibo mi lo o ko le lo fun ipolongo ibo lodun 2019 emi ko mo so toro tin yeju mi o fani kayo de lo so be ti o ba ni di ese kan yin dede se o ile ise fetu ogbin yo se wa di lori esun pe awon isu ti o kun ju osun won ni won ko lo sile america lati le yi abi beru ba kole bo ba ko oke o mo ni bi kan gbe ka e fi pe pe o fi bi oga gba jo efcc awon asojisofin le yi ni won pa si oro on to ye ni lo ye ni o ko